Well, hello there, friends. Fantastic recipe today. Sausage and peppers. I'm gonna show you my way of doing it. Wonderful. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned, we're gonna make them together. Well, hello there, friends. It is a very simple dish, but there's a few tricks to follow. Number one, we're gonna cook the sausage correctly because I see too many people not cooking it right, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, we got a raw sausage, and we got a part cook sausage. Let me tell you what I find, my friends. I find that um, if you take that sausage, you put it in a pan, you get some Maillard reaction, caramelization of protein on the outside. And after two or three minutes, it's really, really getting dark, that Maillard reaction, and the inside is still raw. So what people do, they take it out because it's getting too brown, and then they slice it, and that's where you lose all that juices. Another way to do it, which is really practical, you take your sausage, you par-cook it gently, and you're going to steam it. They let it cool for an hour, an hour and a half. Better if you do it overnight, but you don't have time an hour, just an hour. Cold enough. You can even remove the casing, which sometimes is, um, uh, sometimes it's a natural casing and there's nothing wrong with that. You can eat it, but sometimes it's that uh, edible plastic <coughs> they put on there. So I like to remove it. All right, so I'm going to show you. So first thing we're going to do, friends, we're going to steam the sausage. Don't worry about doing anything else. We're going to steam it. And I promise you, you'll do it this way. You'll never go back to the, uh, to the, old, the, the other way, okay? We're going to put it in a little water in a pan, and we're going to take our sausage, and we're going to put it in here, and we're going to put it in here. That's all we're going to do. And that's going to take, depends the size of your sausage, it could take about 10 minutes. 8 to 10 to 12 minutes, depends how big the sausage is. Those are really, really big. I'm using a spicy Italian sausage. Spicy Italian. Use Mild Italian, use whatever you want. Spicy Italian, and I tell you, they are amazing. You gotta steam them, so by the time I take them out, they all cook. So now, let's start the onion going over there. Because if we get the onion going, I'm gonna do it in my um, roasted garlic olive oil, which I love. You do it a good olive oil, whatever makes you happy, yeah? And then, we're gonna saute the onion. And when the onion are caramelized, then we're gonna put the sausage and the peppers and we're gonna cook. It's really that simple. You'll see, you're gonna like it. First, let's make sure the pan is hot when we put the onion. And the pan hot, and I'm looking at a 365 degrees, that's when the olive oil is at the highest point. That's when we're gonna put the onion and the peppers and whatever it is to cool it so it doesn't uh, go over the smoke point of the olive oil. Now, it's, don't be afraid to cook with olive oil. And did you see those guys, they put some time, uh, they put cooking with butter and they say, oh, let's put a bit of olive oil in there. That's gonna stop the butter from burning. Duh. No, it does not. The reason why the butter burns is because it has a, a, a protein, milk protein in here and they burn at 250 degrees. So I don't care if you put the oil with it or not the oil, it's still gonna burn. So don't listen to those people, all right? So look guys, we're gonna put this in there. We're gonna caramelize the onion, and the onion, if I have a minute, I'll show you how to do it. So those sausage right here that I got, one of them I already removed the skin, the other one I have not removed the skin yet. They're very simple to remove. You grab them, and you peel them. And you put it slowly, don't do what I just did earlier, because then you break it. You go and you put it. Now, if you wanna leave it in there, you can leave it in there. I don't like eating this, this casing. Sometimes they come up pretty easy, and of course, now that I'm doing a live show, well, live, not exactly live, but see, it comes out pretty easy. There you go, right there. Not that difficult. So you see, all that wonderful pork fat right there, we would have lost that. We would have lost that if I would have cut it open, if I would have cut it open when it was halfway cooked. We don't want to lose it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna saute the onion first, and then we're gonna slice them. How you slice them, it's really up to you, my friend. I like to give it a little bit of an angle. So you see, the sausage is not completely cooked, but almost. 
All we're going to do now is give it a beautiful caramelization. And the, we call that the Mayaha reaction. Caramelization of protein. That's going to give you an amazing flavor, my friend. And now what we're going to do, we're going to put it with them. The onions are doing great. And now, of course, some of the sausages are going to release a little extra pork in there, extra pork fat. And that's all beautiful flavor, friends. You see? The sausage is not completely cooked because we didn't cook it that long. You see? We only cook it about eight minutes. Depends, like I said, the size. You may have to play with it. And if it's a little end of cook, don't worry. It'll be fine. And the beauty about doing it this way, friends, you do not lose any of that precious fat um, because you cooked on it on the outside. Eventually, you got to cut it. Right? You cut it in half. Some people cut it in half. Some people cut it in slice. But you're losing all that juice. This way, you don't lose it. And not only that, but it cooks so much nicer. It's so much. Because the Maya reaction is wonderful, but burning it is not so good. I don't like it when it's too caramelized, okay? Let's go look at this sausage here for a second. You see? It's cooking. And I don't exactly know how long it's been in there yet, but it's still cooking. We'll have to check the time in a minute. Normally, you could put a timer on there. You get yourself an idea, you know, um, eight to ten minutes, depends the size. And it doesn't really matter because, you know, you're finishing cooking it right here, my friend. You see? You're finishing your cooking right here by giving it some beautiful Maya reaction. You finish doing it right here. You see? And then what you do, you put your peppers in there. You don't want to put the pepper too soon because the pepper are... Um, a moisture, and we don't want too much moisture in there, you see? All right, we're going to continue cooking those guys. We're going to put our pepper right there. And we're going to let that cook for a second. At the last minute, we're going to put, we're going to put a little bit of um, a garlic. And right here, I got some fresh thyme and rosemary. It's up to you. If you don't want to put the herbs, don't worry about it. You know, there's too many guys out there, too many people out there. That's the way you got to do it. Do however you want to do it, friends. Oh, this is not traditional. Oh, this is not this. This is not this. You know what? Make however you want it. It's your kitchen. It's your family. It's your food. You do however you want it, my friends. I want to show you real quick the onion. Because it's really important that you cut it correctly. Look, 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 look. We're getting some beautiful caramelization here, friends. You see? That's what we want. And we're almost ready. You see? We're almost ready here, friends. We got some nice caramelization. We're gonna lower the heat a little bit. And we are looking good. We don't wanna burn it, but we want some nice caramelization. You see, look, look at this. Oh, this is this one. That's for me. Right there, friends. This is it. See, the onion are cooked. The peppers were cut nice and small. Hey, you, come back over here, you. There you go. I'm gonna put just a touch more of my beautiful garlic olive oil. You wanna cut them too thin, otherwise they fall apart. You see, look, 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 right there, my friend. This is what we're looking for, right there. That caramelization, you see? You see? Look at this, yeah. So let's make sure we flip them correctly so they all, uh, both sides got taken care, you see? And right there, right there, my friends, we got beautiful sausage and peppers. We'll let him cook a little bit longer. Let's check out the sausage again. Probably gonna have to leave it in another few minutes. You see, if we were to cut them right now, you see guys that poke holes in there right now. You poke holes in now, you lose all that juices. You don't wanna do that. If you, you're gonna cut them, you don't want that juice to be lost. It's right here, all of it. We didn't lose one bit of it. I wanna show you real quick the onion while this is finished cooking. Remember when you cut the onion, friends? You cut the onion in half. Okay, and you follow the line of the onion. And when you cut it, we do something like that, you want it to be lengthwise. You don't want it to cut across the grain. Because it, it, you don't have the same texture. So you just go like this, you see? Okay, so you go, you get, get it like this, you get it like this, and then when you get close to the other side, just let it flip, let it flip, and then look. And then you continue like this. Okay, now what do you got? You got nice long strips, the long way, not against the grain, not the same texture, okay? You know, I'm going to do another video on onion. Uh, because it's 10 years now since the first onion video. 
came out. So now it's time we make a uh, onion 2.0. We'll do another one. And there's so many questions. I think it's time to answer them. My friend, that's it. We are ready to eat. What do you think? Smells amazing in here. Let me clean up my deck. My deck. <laughs> I'm not on a boat. Let me clean up my um, cutting board. And here we have it. Very simple. Let's clean it up. Those sausages right here continue cooking a little bit. Oh, by the way, good point here. It's getting a little dry, friends. So look. You see right here, it's getting just a little dry. So what we're going to do, we're going to put just a little bit more water. And by the time I'm done, I'm going to take those and, uh, and I'm done. By the time I'm done with it. All right, so here we go. This is simple, beautiful. We can put it on a platter. That'd be really nice if I had a platter and put them right on a platter instead of a plate. You know what? I'm going to go get a platter. Here we go. Put them right on the platter. And let everybody help themselves. Right here, my friends. Gorgeous. Oh, look at this. Look at this right there. This is my favorite part right there. Here we go. Really simple. Sausage and peppers. Sausage and pepper. Really simple, my friends. You see? What else could we put on top of that? Maybe some chopped parsley would be kind of nice. Let's check the sausage right there. Sausage are good. So what we're going to do now on the sausage, friends, they've been cooked enough. We're going to take them, and we're just going to put them on the plate, and we're going to let them relax. So if you're doing it the same day, um, oh, you know, I just realized I forget something. I always forget something, don't I? What did I forget? The garlic. Oh, mamma mia. No problem. We're not going to serve them without the garlic, friends. We're not going to forget. So we, here's what we're going to do. That's okay, because the garlic is always the last one we put in, right? So here we go. Oh, all that beautiful pork right there. So we're going to put that in there. And then we're going to put a touch of garlic. <laughs> I always got to forget something. At the last second, friends. We don't want to burn the garlic. That's why I put it at the end. Some people put it at the beginning because they like burning it, not me. All right, so here we go. Mix that up really well. How long do we cook the garlic for, friends? We cook the garlic however long it takes to smell it to release its fragrance. When garlic releases its fragrance, then we got ourselves a fantastic garlic. See, so here we go. <laughs> There we go, my friends. That's it. Garlic smells amazing. And beautiful right here. Turn that off. Everything is off. Beautiful sausage and pepper, friends. Voila. We clean our dish. And voila. For one minute. It wouldn't be the same thing if I didn't try it. So here we go. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. The sausage are perfect. Mmm. All I need to do is sprinkle a little top of parsley. Maybe a little drizzle of olive oil. Voila. Mmm. My friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell. We'll see you next couple of days to watch another fantastic video. Thanks for watching, everyone.